and welcome back everybody to our winners round three it's going to be university of southern mississippi versus st Clair college and they cross this river the mississippi river one of the hardest to ford out of all the rivers and one of the best rocket league teams in the collegiate space as well absolutely i mean if we're facing off against them right now one win away from making it into the uni rocketeers champion world championship then they must be a fantastic team and the saints are definitely going to hope to give them a run for the money thankfully they are going to have at least a little bit of momentum aiding them from that last series vesh getting another miraculous demo i'm not sure how that one worked out but we'll take anything we can get here any advantage we can earn and Christian oh that's a really nice stop he put right there but now they're gonna have to kind of triple up on that defense they don't really really feel comfortable gonna allow Christian to get a really nice demo but Ben not able to get that save he rode that ball all the way from blue side over to orange look at that beautiful look at that. Look yeah. at that thing right there that's a beautiful shot really is I cannot believe that that is where it went that's absolutely shocking wow i i'm still in shock 124 kilometers per hour as well but saints they're gonna have to find an answer hopefully they are going to be able to use their uh, adaptation skills as well as they were in that last series and hopefully a little bit quicker too you don't want to go down a game unnecessarily it helps with your confidence if you don't and uh we're going to see the Saints try to play their offense a little bit more reserved. I'm noticing that they're not sending all their guys all at once like they were a couple of seconds ago. And we're going to see Vesh! Oh, Melodic coming out of nowhere seemingly. At least I didn't see him. I'm sure Vesh might not have either. But a nice, beautiful shot showing that the Saints still have a lot of fight left in them. They have so much fight left in them, but we need to get a point. We need to get a point soon. Things are looking very good for you. Mississippi. It's not an impossible bridge to gap, but it's still going to be tough. Chris Melodic go for another shot. Melodic just being the aggressor on that enemy team, not letting up, up off that gas. Zath going to the attack as well. There's a double commit. Going to go quite well for Mississippi, though. It's clear out with the Saints, and they managed to do it. Now they're going on the offense, but look at that Melodic. Just always hammering in any chance they get. Absolutely, and now we're seeing Ben try to act as a defined nail, not wanting to get hammered here. Vesh doing a great job in aiding that goal. Not going to have any boost to work with, though. He's not going to be able to press that issue very well. Ben just getting a nice tap to keep this one going forward. Unfortunately, he's going to end up going backwards regardless. Over to orange side, Vesh is going to meet that one midair. Milot going to try to stop that one before it gets too far ahead, but Vesh is going to try to play a little bit more craftily, and he succeeds at doing so, getting that ball to fly over and under. There. Melodic's going to demo Christian, just make this defense a little bit safer, and it's going to work. Zath is going to be able to take that one out, and no one's going to be able to stop him from doing so. We're going to see another shot go through, and no one's going to be able to stop that one from coming out. It was a little bit of an unexpected one. You, you might, not have even, might not have even felt the need to defend it, because you didn't think it was going to go in, but unfortunately it does. Vesh was just a little bit too slow there. He was going for the save, but couldn't get the disrupt time mm. now. Mississippi going to be two points ahead over halfway through this game. The Saints really need to start to adapt, like we've said before. But it might just have to happen this next game. Because at this point, Mississippi just looks so clean after shot after shot. I mean, look at that setup. Ooh. Even Ooh. when they don't land those shots, the aggression yeah. is just so hard to keep up with. You don't want to be seeing these kinds of things if you're hoping to win the series. See, seeing those kinds of setups happen back to back to back will, will really do something to you mentally. And seeing Vesh up on the ceiling here, still going to have the ball stolen from him. It seems like the Saints really are struggling a bit, crumbling under the pressure. But University of Southern Mississippi putting up such a great fight against the Saints right now, up 2-0. Christian going for a shot that's immediately going to get stopped out. Ben going to have to try to catch the rebound. Unfortunately, not going to be able to turn it into too much of an opportunity. A nice bump to keep Zath off of it. Give enough time for Vesh to come back around and steal that one away. Christian Ben having a lot of boost to work with. Sorry, Vesh is going to have a lot of boost to work. He's going to use it all here to cradle the ball and try to get Christian in a position to take that one away. But Ben now getting in position potentially on that defensive side, giving room for Vesh. He's going to be on that left side, going to catch that ball as it gets passed out. Melodic going for another shot, bouncing it back. 
trying to roll this one towards the center. Zath is going to go for a shot, but Ben's front bumper is going to keep it where it was. They have 40 seconds to get two goals. Are the Saints going to be able to turn this into something? I don't know if they'll be able to turn it into anything at all. With 30 seconds left, they need to close this two-goal gap. They need to get a goal soon and then try and get the kickoff as well. Things are not looking good. They're putting up their aggression, but it's not looking to be enough. Christian fighting a nice shot on the goal, but a nice save from Astro. That's, I feel like, the first good shot from the Saints in quite a while. They need yeah. much more to try and break their way through. Beautiful shot from Melodic, but gets saved out by Christian. Now Zath just trying to waste time here, going for one last ego shot, but it's not going to work out. One second left on the clock. Saints can try and take a shot, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, that shot we saw coming up from the Saints near the end of this one was, that is something you want to see. It shows that they really are still capable of holding a defense and holding an offense as well. But unfortunately, they weren't able to pick that up uh, fast enough at the start of this game. But we're still going to at least be able to keep fighting. It's just made it seem like Mississippi was peering ever so slightly into the future that whole time. It seemed like every mm. movement the Saints made, they knew where they were going to be. Every time someone got it up to the ceiling, tried to go for an air carry, tried to go for anything, someone from Mississippi was there to disrupt that. It's like they had the Sharon gun or something. It was crazy. Honestly, I think you might be onto something, <laughs> and it's. I feel like even though the Saints, they exceed a lot, and especially in the last series, their setups were really good. But like I said, if you see it coming, it's pretty easy to defend against. And even on the side of USM right now, they are doing similar things in terms of getting those setups going and keeping their pressure going as well. But they're just doing it that much faster that the Saints don't have enough room. We saw that shot coming out. Vesh was just like not even a second, less than a second away from getting the bump that would have prevented it. But they're just faster on the act to get things going. And we're seeing it manifest right now. USM taking at least this first game against the Saints. Take the first game, but hopefully the Saints really want this to play out like the last time. Lose game one, bring it back in game two, three, and four. Now we're seeing Melata can start things off hot once again. Astro, beautiful shot on the goal, but Ben saves it out just barely. Now we look back over at Zath. Keep an eye on this ball, taking a very relaxed approach, very open, wide <laughs> shot. Astro, though, can go on the offense, a very specific by Christian Ben going for a shot up top. No one's there to disrupt them. There's an open goal. If they can get the shot, it'd be beautiful, but no, Astro gets the save. Really well done so far. The Saints are really pushing the issue. They don't want to get walked all over or run over to be quite literal here. And Astro, making sure that's not going to go too far into blue territory. Christian saying absolutely not. Ben, a nice center, passing it back a little bit. Maybe just give it a little bit of a gimme pass over to Fesh, but no, it's going to turn into a pass towards USM side. Maybe a miscom because there wasn't action really taken as Ben passed that one back and no one was able to react fast enough to prevent that shot from rolling in. So Saints going to be down one goal yet again. Down one goal, but they're not down and out just yet. Absolutely they still not. Have quite a bit of game to play. They can try and turn things around here. It'd be absolutely great. We've seen so many times the Saints do well in the first half, getting the winners' records, and then get sent down to lose. We don't want that to happen again. Just they're wishing for just a clean win today, I'm sure. And we got to see that through to the very end. So you see Ben going up for a high shot, gets the bounce off the ground, but Astro's there to meet him. Always someone covering these high shots, whether they're in the air or on the ground, someone's there to meet them. Now we see Zaf, they go there for the air meet, but Astro's there on the ground to meet him once again. There seems to be a player everywhere and an absolutely beautiful shot from Melodic. Now we're seeing Vesh scooping this one right out of the corner, trying to get that to the center. He's going to meet some resistance, however, it is at least going to be rolling towards blue side. Christian, a little bit ahead of the ball there, going to correct himself and get right back behind it. Melodic going to eventually seal that one away. Ben's going to get demoed again. I'm seeing these miracle demos coming out. And uh, Zath going to go for the nice center shot, but it's going to get intercepted by Christian, forcing this one back for the blue side. And a nice shot from Vesh. I don't know how he predicted to be there, but he was, and that's all that matters taking that goal and at least now tying up this series. Vash hit it from all the way over on that left side. It's absolutely beautiful. Those are the kinds of shots the Saints need to make to keep 
themselves in this now. It's 1-1. Mississippi now losing that little bit of momentum might be what the Saints need to get themselves back in this. But it looks like you guys are right back with a lot of aggression. Christian going for an absolutely massive carry there. Ben going to find the midair, send it right back. Mulata going to play ping pong here, not going to let it off the fuel. There it is. There's an opening. Mulata goes for the dunk and gets it for University of Southern Mississippi. I don't know how that happened. Just out of nowhere. Just the relentlessness from Melodic manages to save it out. And Christian just oh. barely misses it by a hair. Very unfortunate for the Saints. They really almost had that one in the bag, but once again, it feels like USM is just that much quicker when it comes to executing these plays. And the Saints haven't been able to catch up to speed here. And uh, right now, I feel like if they were wearing weighted clothing, now would be the time to take it off and really start hitting the gas pedal because you need every bit of speed you can get against this team. USM, they're just always on the ball, literally and figuratively. And you see their Astro just barely missing that shot there, which would have been a very guaranteed easy shot. And Ben looking to help his team recover a little bit. One more goal would tie the series up once again, whereas before it at least would have been putting them in the lead. Now they're just struggling to tie it back once they, again they were fighting so hard for before and they've come right back to this position. Ben, can they be able to get that very clean save? Christian, I honestly, I, I feel like I misspoke there. There is no such thing as a clean save in this series. Everything you pay for with your life, and sometimes you pay for it with the goal, even though you're playing at your peak. Sometimes they just run away from you. And sometimes it's like a train just starts to run away from you off the tracks here. But you got to get right back on the tracks if you're the Saints. You want to try and lock in here. We have a minute 30. It's not impossible. With how this game has been going, it's going to be very improbable. Yeah, for sure. It's a bit of a struggle, but like you said, it's improbable, not impossible. I would at least like to see one more goal come up from the Saints just so we can find that aggression yet again. It feels like it's been so long since the Saints were able to play on their side of the field, um, their side being USM's side, and they feel like they've been stuck on orange for so long, at least meaningfully, um, they've not been over on blue. Of course, they get over there, but they don't really make it stick, make it feel like their presence is an issue. As you see, it made it over to blue and then it's right back out whereas when uh, USM is over here on orange it's a threat and it's a scary one at that Vesh making a runaway with the ball gonna tip that off his front bumper Ben there to meet him at the backside Christian lagging not too far behind just in case the ball tries to run away from them Vesh is going to meet it over into the corner. Ben's going to go on that backside, get ready to save it out. And that he is. Zath is going to take out Vesh, however. And the ball is going to go right towards the net. Christian looking to try to follow up off of it. But unfortunately, it's going to get stolen away. Melodic going to slowly take that one down from the sky. And Zath is going to turn that into a nice shot. Once again, a beautiful play from USM. Saints struggling. Beautiful play from Southern Mississippi. I mean... You can just tell they're in a flow state right now. The Saints now looking to have to do a reverse sweep situation. Mm -hmm. That's very, very tough. I know this game's not over yet, but three goals every 10 seconds. With how this game's been going, I don't quite see that happening. You see a goal right about now. And we didn't. <laughs> so I think this is going to go Mississippi's way. Mm -hmm. Saints going to still keep themselves in this, but overall, I think they just need to be in a position where they're not constantly playing catch-up. They need to be in a leader position, or at least equal, to really get their footing. I completely agree. Like you said, um, it's just obviously they're down. Obviously they're losing this game. But you, you want to have moments where it feels like you're in charge and you're making the plays, you're making the decisions. When you're completely playing off the back foot, it feels so difficult to really make anything happen. And confidence is a big thing in Rocket League for sure. And right now, looking the series down 2-0, the Saints might be lacking some of it. The Saints, I think, are lacking a little bit here. But... You know, it's not all doom and gloom if they do end up losing this series. They will be able to try and make that stretch in the loser's bracket. Still have that life to, to use up. 
but you don't want to use up on that. <laughs> you want to try and finally get one of these clean runs here. Mm -hmm. For sure. And uh, going down, like you said, it, it would be, I think, either one or two more games left that they would need to win in order to still qualify. But I'm confident that they can still take this series. And I'm sure, even if they might not be feeling it at this moment, these guys are more than capable of taking this series. They just have to really feel it, really execute, let their boost fly, and make some excellent shots like they know they can. I think maybe you try and just demo Melodic. He seems to be the one that's making these shots time after time after time, kind of being the, the lead striker, almost like the Vesh parallel on the side <laughs> of Mississippi. So I think if you could try and take him down, maybe that would give some breathing for your team. It's going to be Astro taking down Vesh, taking out a playbook out of what I had just said. <laughs> Potentially, but here we're seeing, I like this map. It's like Neo Tokyo, but now Zath just playing on offensive already. The rest of USM not too far behind. Christian Vesh, Ben fighting really hard over here to make sure this is not a nice, easy goal for USM. They at least want to keep themselves in this game visually if they get a goal on them this fast this early on i feel like it'd be devastating for them and not gonna let that happen right away the saints are still fighting still keeping the ball over on uh, blue side or at least keeping out of orange side as best as they can astro however gonna get a nice center shot zath gonna miss time the shot just a little bit but no one's there to get the save and that's gonna be a real slow and going one for the saints usm gonna take this first goal early on in the series Taking the first goal, but not taking their time. Just a minute off the clock, and now Mississippi already once again in the lead. And you know what happens when you take that lead. They're just going to keep going on this offense train, not going to let up off the gas. But it's like they usually only have to send one up to get past the Saints' defenses, or lack thereof, as we saw earlier. No one was in the net. But you can tell Mississippi has such stalwart defense. They have one in the goal, one kind of up front, close to the goal. They always have their striker lead in the charge. Now Ben going for a setup, can't quite find anything because of that defense. But the Saints going for these triple commits, leaves them just so open. And when you're this open and the game is this comfortable for your opponent to be playing against you, you really do start to uh, question yourself. And when you're looking at the ball flying at you right in front of the net, the last thing you want to be doing is questioning yourself. You just want to be accelerating and taking the shot. So, like I said, confidence and coordination and feeling comfortable on your wheels is a big part of success in a game as fast-paced as this one. But it seems like USM's doing a great job of icing out the Saints and just making it so that everything they do is painstakingly slow and drawn out and hard to accomplish. Basically holding the Saints' head down in a vat of molasses and insulting them while they're doing it. So do you really want to keep fighting after that? It looks like Vesh does. However, Melodic is a very strong bully here. Christian trying to intercept Zath. Unfortunately, not going to be able to quite get it. Ben, however, is going to be able to at least catch that roll away off the top side. Ben's going to go for a nice shot, but an excellent save like our coach caster here in game to say. <laughs> exactly. He's for uh, the, the audience of that city. So, <laughs> but anyways, we see Zath going for an amazing shot. And I think the problem the Saints are running into here is they can't, they're finding good shots, but they cannot get the frequency of the shots high enough. They cannot get enough chances unlike Mississippi where the shots might not be as clean. But they can find these shots time and time again, over and over, not letting up off the aggression. Vesh gonna try and find that ball, but look at that, one goal. Let's see, probably another shot close to the goal once again. The Saints just having to waste so, many time, so much time on these clears. It's really gonna throw a wrench in their plans, especially when we're running out of time. There are only two minutes left on the clock. Yeah, and thankfully no one was able to uh, take that nice clear and turn that into a shot because I really felt like I was going to get jump scared by a blue car as that ball was rolling past the net. Now Christian off his back going to get a demo and passing this ball forward. However, despite two demos coming up for the Saints, USM was still able to keep it over an orange side. You see something like that and it, it just feels really hard to keep fighting on, but they have to keep going. One minute, 20 seconds remaining and a shot coming out from Christian. Like you said, the shots coming out from the Saints are excellent. They just can't find them as often because USM is so good at keeping the ball not only out of their possession, but over on the Saints' side of the field. Christian now 
trying to go for something here. Unfortunately, no one's going to be able to follow up. The Saints have to play safely. They have to avoid committing fully to the, all of these different plays. And still, with one minute remaining, it's still just one goal lead that the Saints have to try tying up to. I'm confident that as long as they stay focused and stay coordinated, don't let panic set in, I think they can really make this one happen. The gap is closable. The Mississippi River is crossable. We've done it before in history. They can manage to do it, but there's 30 seconds left on the clock. They need to do it soon. Time is running out. The river is running, and they need to run along with it. They need to go with the flow here, but Astro going to be the one to block this out. 30 seconds remaining. Astro going to take a nice shot on the goal. He's asking me the one passing it right back. Going to carry it over to that orange side and try and waste as much time as possible because victory is in sight of Mississippi. They're trying to get this 3-0 win in the series with 10 seconds left on the clock. Astro going to get it off the wall. Vesh going to try and be the one last hero to go for it, getting the air carry. But it's a little too slow for the time we have left. It's one second running. No one's going to touch it. And it was going to go into the Saints net regardless. So they win the last one just barely, just by one point. It's going to be Mississippi taking that one. Absolutely. We're going to see a 3-0 coming out for USM. Saints going to fall into that lower bracket they still have a chance to make that qualification again i believe it's just one or two matches ahead of them that they have to square away against their opponents down the lower bracket but obviously you wish you made it and congratulations to usm for sure for taking that game and right now it seems that the saints are going to be playing against either davenport or wsu to qualify for this uh this league here so it's all going to come down to their next game yeah, two very good teams, you know, even though it's the loser's bracket, everyone had to get to this qualifying position anyway, so it's just whittled down to some of the best of the best in the collegiate space. With all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very quick break. I'll be right back with our next match. <laughs> 